We got it all. We got a lot. We got to fight to keep what we really want. Don't you forget, no, no, what your father told you. That there's a lot of life that is far beyond you. We're saving a piece at a time, one step in the right direction. Protecting that far and wide, a piece of our wild side. Hello again. It's uh, actually heating up here today. It's been pretty cool, but today we're expected to be in the 80s. And. Uh, we have a sneezing dog here. Um, we got uh, had some deer visit the garden, uh, so we got had some damage. Uh, but all that said, um, I want to show you um, four of the your most common milkweeds uh, here in northern New Jersey, and we happen to have them both, uh, uh, both all four in the garden. Uh, they're just coming up, so we kind of want to show you what they look like uh, when they come up. We have common swamp butterfly weed and was proven to be a pretty popular milkweed purple so let me show you um, the early stages of these milkweed as they come up so in the garden. So this is one of our uh, front butterfly gardens. Pretty much all the gardens are butterfly oriented all around the house. Everything here is delayed about three weeks because of just some miserable weather uh, we had here. Uh, as I think most people experienced uh, two Saturdays ago, we had snow flurries and squalls. So we've come a long way in two weeks. So let me show you some of the milkweed. This is common milkweed. This uh, gets about uh, over six feet, seven foot tall. Loaded with flowers that are very fragrant. Um, as you can see, this is coming up right next to the sidewalk. We like to keep it back here. See it coming up right here. It's coming up everywhere, which is okay. But, it also comes up in areas we don't want it to, such as right here. So this is in the middle of cone flowers, and we have some there. We're gonna control this by pulling these sprouts out, and we'll do this over a period of weeks, and eventually it'll stop coming up and then get thicker back in there. But this is common milkweed in its early stages. And uh, let me show you this. I'm gonna pull this guy up. These shoots come right up. Now, if you look, the main tap root is still down there in the soil. But I'll put this in root town and keep it moist. And about 50% of these will survive and I can plant this somewhere else. This is not milkweed. This is pokeweed. Hate this stuff, but as you can see, it kind of looks like common milkweed and it can be confusing. We're gonna yank this guy out of here too. Gonna have to get some uh, Epsom salt and uh, vinegar. And this is swamp milkweed. While common milkweed can be a thug in the garden, and uh, while a lot of people say it's uh, too aggressive, as you saw, we easily pulled up the new sprouts to control the spread. Swamp milkweed does not spread by roots. It's a clumper, and you could divide the clumps as they get larger. This here is right next to our mailbox, and this, uh, I didn't plant here, but we're gonna leave it here. It's here with a, a Laetris. I think I said that right, uh, it's the one I misspell, uh, mispronounce all the time. 
uh, but this is swamp milkweed and uh, this will get a, a just under six feet tall nice pinkish flowers but um, the monarchs uh, love the swamp milkweed in the common this is uh, uh, by its name uh, likes uh, some wet feet but here is in the regular perennial garden and I've seen it grown in sandy soil as well this is butterfly weed totally different look this is lower growing has amazing orange flowers and this takes time coming up sometimes uh, people don't realize it's still alive and they either dig it up or or plant over it be patient give it time because these weren't here four days ago and look how tall they are already this is going to be a clumper it's going to be about three feet tall and about as wide uh, it is the least favorite in regards to monarchs laying uh, eggs on of the four milkweeds but is very popular with the pollinators especially all kinds of wasps <clears throat> it tends to like uh, a soil that drains fast and is a little drier but this is butterfly weed in this butterfly garden we have purple milkweed and he's harder to see uh, a few years ago maybe I think four years ago we had some seed that we uh, actually got three seedlings to grow planted them in here and it they kind of yellowed and died and then the following year I noticed a sprout coming up a single sprout and it bloomed it with milkweed by the second year I had about 20 plants and then by the third year we had about 60 and I'm hoping uh, we have about a hundred this year but this is uh, late to the game and let me see if I can find up oh, here we are this is the purple milkweed coming up get some more some more it's actually all throughout this bed and we found that um, it actually does well with other perennials it actually comes up between them all like right here here is this is purple milkweed now, oh, yeah, here's some more. Oh, look at it all. And more. It's coming up uh, in between the salvia and the Cranesville um, geraniums and Monarda. Comes right up. Oh, there's some more. It's all over here. It tends to like it's. Uh, base shaded with other perennials so we've tried to plant it on its own and failed every time uh, it's kind of hard to get to go to seed it does not develop seed pods like all the other three we talked about I could get seeds galore off the other three but these guys are a little stingy but once established it thrives in here now I'm hoping to uh, and I have so many plants. Here's some more. Look. See it? It's coming up here too. Oh, there's some more. It's all over here. I'm going to dig up some roots and move them to the back. But uh, that's our uh, milkweed in our garden. Those are the four we have. Um, we bought some others that we're trying in the back. But these four thrive in our gardens. Okay, 
So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more coming in 2020.